another grind win right there against Toledo. You know, again, um, you know, the difference between, I told the guys, the difference between being average and good is finding ways to get it done when it's not always going great. And we found a way, you know, we didn't play the cleanest of baseball. Um, we pitched it really good again. Um, we'd like to repeat the defense we had yesterday, but we, we didn't quite do it, but we still found a way to win. And that's the key. Um, it, it was really good to see in that last inning, uh, Luke Birch stay on that baseball and find a way to get on. And then Dylan Rosa fights to, you know, uh, draw a walk to get it up to Timmy. Timmy was thinking right through the middle, just keeping it really simple. And, uh, you know, he got a pitch he can handle and stayed through the middle, got in on him a little bit, but that's what you got to do in those situations. Um, very, very, uh, uh, very good start by Zach Willeman and a very good job by, by Connor Wollersheim to, to finish it off. Um, our pitching the last two days has been really, really good, really solid, really all week. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is the time when we need to start making, making the push, right? And uh, uh, we just got to keep going. Well, the pitching has been lights out, which is huge for everyone's confidence. Defensively, you're going to want to make plays behind them. Um, hitting, you're going to want to back them up. So, uh, I mean, it's been lights out, and you really can't ask for more. This is what we do. You know, this game's not always easy. And if we want to be good, we've got to stay in it and still bite, scratch, and claw. We might have a game like this in the tournament. You know, sometimes in games like this, you, 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 the, the, you don't get too many opportunities. And, and then you, they open the door, and then you go ahead and barge right through it. And that's what good teams need to do. They need to barge right through that door once that door opens. And um, they, found, they found an opportunity, and they made the most of it. And, and that, was, that was the difference in the game. Mamarella beats the throw to second for a double. Up to here, one out. The one strike pitch. Swing and a miss. It gets away, though, and it'll get the Golden Flashes a run. And the score is Josh Hollander, and the Golden Flashes are in flight. The pitch to him. In and out of the glove. This will tie it. That pass ball brings Mamarella in. It's 2-2. Wollersheim's pitch. Strike three called right under the hands. He zipped it in there for strikeout number two and out number two in the eighth. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Wollersheim fans the side, and he's kept it tied 2-2. Middle of the eighth. He squares. He bunts perfectly up along first. Barehand pickup by Ochter in the throw to first to complete the sacrifice. You know, ever since the sixth inning when Toledo put up their two runs, we knew that we really had to buckle down and uh, stick up for our pitchers there. But seeing Birch and Dill get on, that was huge, especially Dillon's at bat with two outs. So, yeah, it definitely amped me up a little bit. Well, as players, it means a lot to us. We've, uh, we've put in so much work and prepared for these opportunities to play in the one-run games. And, uh, I mean, we honestly just live for this. We, we're, we've been prepared the whole season whether it be fall ball workouts, early morning lifts. I mean, this is honestly what we play for is these close games and uh, to be able to celebrate like we did. They see the right-hander fires. Del Porto muscles one in the left. That's going to fall for a hit, and then we'll win the game. Racing around third is Birch with the winner. Del Porto does it cleanly this time. Flashes are in first. He blooped it right out into left center field, and that mob scene drifts out into left center field where Tim Del Porto is showered with water. He's the hero for the second consecutive ball game.